Your business problem will start from when? Your business problem always start with RCC paid fifty thousand to seller in cash. Remember, anything which is paid more than twenty thousand in the form of cash. We have dividend. Yes, we have dividend from foreign. Yes, rent. Yes. Interest on bank, yes. One thousand is the odd item you paid for personal. That one thousand you are supposed to consider. Clear? A warm welcome to one and all. This is your Adesh sir here, lecturing with the Ashram Facility College, the Temple of Excellence. And now we are in the session eight of your topic called income tax. Under income tax, we are discussing the topic called business or profession. Now, in today's session, what we are going to discuss, we'll go for the next slide. The agenda is very simple. We will understand concept. Along with concept, we will do one problem. While doing problem, the small small concept are there. I'll explain you there itself. These are the informations we have. We are supposed to compute taxable income from. Business. Now, these are the informations we have in this problem. Now, particular amount and particular amount. So, these are the informations. Like, we have opening stock and we have closing stock. In this, there is no closing stock. Yeah, we have closing stock here. But your business problem will starts from when? Your business problem always start with. Here, your business problem always start with here. Your business problem always starts with here. Now, so we have salary to stock, general charges. All this we have to consider whether it is related to business or not. What is the procedure? We have to take which are not related to business. These are the expenses. If those are not related to business, you are supposed to take. Which are not related to biz? Which are not related to business? We are supposed to take. These are the income. These are the expenditure. So these are the income which are called as disallowed item. Disallowed in the sense which are not related to business. And few things, even though which are related to business, but even though which are related to business, but with adjustment like salary paid to staff. Salary paid to staff is what it is part of your business. In the adjustment they have given. Out of thirty thousand salary, five thousand paid for watchman for house. Now, watchman for house, you are paying five thousand. But is that five thousand related to your business? No. Out of thirty thousand, five thousand you have to take out because five thousand you are spending for your personal expenses. That's what we are supposed to do now in this. Salary to staff is there part of the business. General charges part of the business. Proprietor salary you are supposed to consider because proprietor salary is his personal. It is not part of the business. Bad debts it is part. And I told you any provisions, any reserve we have to consider which are not part of the business. So your reserve for bad debts, income tax. Interest on capital. Capital is also what personal. Municipal tax. Municipal tax paid on what home, house. Life insurance premium. It is paid for personal. Donation. We have to see if donation paid for trade association. Then it is a part of the business. Again, I'll repeat. If the donation is paid for trade association, then it is part of the business. Hope you are clear. Yes. So we have to check the adjustment later. We can come back. Entertainment expenses, whether it is a part of the business or not, it is a part of the business. Why? Because if you are running a business. There are many staffs sir, there. Small, small entertainment required. What are, what kind of entertainment they do? Some uh, Christmas is there. They will do some entertainment. They will play some game. They will get some gift. All are part of the business. Or some any October time bonus. At the time of bonus, they play some game. Are some small, small expenses 
will be spent in the business. Those are called as entertainment expenses. Legal charges, we have to check whether it is legal charges for your profession, sorry, business or for personal. If you have any personal dispute, if you have fight with your wife, if you applied for divorce, whatever legal charges paid for that is your personal. You have a land of your ancestral property and you have filed a case on that. Whatever you have spent for that legal charges are called as your personal. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, these are the things we have to check legal charges and we have to check donation. Hope you are clear. So salary to staff, it is a part. Wherever I have put into mark, you are supposed to take. Why? Because those are not related to business. Hope you are clear. Yes. First we'll go for expenses. Later we'll come back for all the incomes. Now, these are the adjustment we have. See, salary to staff includes 1000 paid to watchman. As I told you, out of your salary is how much? Salary is around 5,000. Out of 5,000, 1,000 paid for personal. 1,000 is paid for whom? Paid to whom? Watchman. This 1,000 we call it as personal expenses. How much we have to consider? Only 1,000 we have to consider because 1,000 is not part of your business. Now, out of this 5,000, 1,000 take it in the answer. Next. Donation 6,000 given for trade association. Trade association means what? Trade means business. Whatever donation paid, it is for business purpose. Now, it will be what? Your trade association donation is 7,000. Out of 7, 6,000 if you minus, your answer is 1,000. 1000 for personal you should consider only 1000 out of 7 6000 for business the balance 1000 is not for business what are the items we are taking which are not for business we are considering hope you are clear yes next one depreciation allowed under income tax act as i told you whatever depreciation comes in your problem like there is a problem actually. Whatever depreciation you get here, it will be part of your add, addition, disallowed item. Whatever depreciation you get from the adjustment, you have to minus, which are as per income tax. Any depreciation here as per your accounts. Whatever depreciation given in the adjustment, which are as per your income tax. Hope you are clear. I'll come back later regarding depreciation. Then, opening stock valued at cost plus. Cost plus means what? Increased. And closing stock is valued less. Remember, opening stock increased. Closing stock decreased. You have to take it as a disallowed item. You have to take it as a not minus plus. You have to take it as a disallowed item. Now, Ulta, opening stock decreased, closing stock increased, then it will be what? Minus, allowed item. Okay, now, so next one is what? Assessi paid 50,000 to seller in cash. Remember, anything which is paid more than 20,000 in the form of cash. Again, I'll repeat, anything which is paid more than 20,000 in the form of cash, we have to consider. So, Below 20,000, you can make any payment in the form of cash. If 20,000, one rupee also, you have to make through check only. If it is paid by cash, this expense will not treat it as business expenditure. Clear? Yes. Now, SEC paid is over. Bad debts recovered in the earlier year, 5,000. This I'll show you. This we have to take it out. Your allowed item. Now, I'll go to your answer. Net profit as per p and l. Net profit as per p and l account. Now we have disallowed item. What are the disallowed item? We have salary to staff. As I told you, out of 5,000, 1,000 is personal. So 1,000 only we should consider. 
because if it is profession then 5 minus 1 4 but in case of business which are the odd items 1000 is the odd item you paid for personal that 1000 you are supposed to consider clear yes proprietor's salary it is a personal reserve for bad debts yes income tax yes interest on capital yes municipal tax yes lip yes bad debts recovered not allowed yes it is there in the adjustment Opening stock, I told you, opening stock over value, closing stock under value. All put together, you will get 1,12,937. This is a total of all your disallowed item. Clear? Any doubt? No doubt. Now, I'll come back to this. We have net gross profit, will not consider anywhere. We start with what? Net profit. What is your net profit? 1,42,620. 1,42,620. We call it as your net profit. Now, I'll come back to this. We have dividend. Yes. We have dividend from foreign. Yes. Rent. Yes. Interest on bank. Yes. Discount is a part of the business. If you want to purchase something, you will ask for discount. So discount is a part of the business. Then refund of income tax. Yes, these are the items we have taken. See, dividend. Yes, dividend from foreign company. Yes, interest on bank deposit. Yes, refund of income tax. And yes, allowed depreciation. So everything, allow depreciation, where do you get? You will get it from adjustment. Hope you are clear. So if you add all your allowed or other heads income, 1,12,937, what your expenses? Minus 33,000. So from 1,12, if you minus, you will not get. You have to add back your in net profit. What is your net profit? 1,42 plus 1,12,000 minus 33,000. Your final answer is 2,22,557. Hope you are clear. Yes, hope you understood I think. Your 1,42 plus 1,12,000 minus 33. Your final answer comes 2,22,557. Hope you are clear. Yes. This is all about your business problem. This much only. Along with that, you are supposed to do your tax calculation also. It is the first problem. I have not done any tax calculation. Just I found out only what is your business income. Hope you are clear. Yes. I'll go back. I'll show you all the slides. Please take a screenshot. So this combination of taxable income from business. So these are the adjustment what you have. So these are the answers actually. So I can split into two slides, but I want answer in the single slide only. That's why font may be little small, manage. Yes. So this is what your today's session, hope you understood. How do we calculate the business income? Easiest one and easily you can understand actually. So please work out and keep it in mind while doing the business income, we have to take which are not related to business. It is not like which are related to business. As I told you, if you want to write down, you can write down again. Remember any proprietor's salary and your depreciation and your uh, reserves, provisions, income tax and your municipal tax, LIC, all this comes under your disallowed item. What will come under allowed item which is supposed to be deducted like income from house property, interest on deposit, capital gain, income from lottery, your dividend from England as well as foreign company, all and your income tax refund along with the depreciation as per income tax. All these are called as 
allowed item we are supposed to minus. I told you what has to be added, what has to be deducted. This much only your income from business. Hope you are clear. Easiest one. If you do another two or three problems, you will understand better. Thank you.